Welcome to Excel Blogger. This is a short tutorial on how to calculate time in Excel. Uh, when you enter a time in Excel, uh, you have you have to enter it with um, with the proper format, meaning uh, with the colon separating hours, minutes, and seconds. Say, for instance, I would like to add 10:30. Well, then I have to add it like 10 colon 30. If I skip the second, Excel will assume it's just hours and minutes. So now I have. 10:30 a.m. Um, you also have to understand that time in Excel is based on a date-time decimal code system, meaning basically that every hour of the day is 1/24 of a day, um, and it's, it's, it is this decimal code system that Excel format to a time. I can show an example of that here. Let's do a reference to this decimal numbers here like this so you can compare them which which with each other and then i format these numbers as time i just right click and choose format cells and then i choose the time format here and here i can choose what kind of time format i would like to have would i like to have the 12 hours with 8 p.m a.m or would i like to have the 24 hour system say i chose the 24 hour system like that okay so now you see that the zero, the decimal zero is the same as midnight. Uh, 0 0.5 is uh, 12, and 0 0.75 is um, uh, 6 p.m. 1800. Um, that, are, that is how the basics of the time format code function in Excel. So if I would like to calculate with, with time, say that I have this to these two hours 16 and 10 and I would like to sum them I just do a very simple sum so I take the one plus the other one and push enter now you see that the results are zero oh, oh, sorry the results are two meaning that when you count 16 hours plus 10 it for Excel it becomes like the time is 1600 and you add 10 hours meaning that you are now two o'clock in the night. We can look at how the um, time format looks in Excel. I just select the cell and right click and choose format cells. Now you will see that this is the time format we have here. If I like to change this so it becomes uh, 26 hours instead, then I have to change I go back for myself. Then I have to change um, uh, the number format, and I do that in the custom category. If I go to custom category, here you see all the different custom formats that that are available. Uh, you have to manually enter brackets around the hour, one bracket before and one bracket after, and you see in the sample here that now we will have twenty six. 26 hours. I can show you just a quick example also how to calculate with, with, with time. It's pretty easy but sometimes you you like to do something with that and also transform it to decimals. Um, I just do this ex very easy example. Say that um, uh, the day starts at 8 o'clock in the morning. I just put, enter it like this uh, and then you will have a lunch between 11 say 30 and the 2 12 just half an hour of lunch is probably enough like that and then when do you go home well say that uh, uh, the day ends at 1600 or 4 hours p.m like that so how long time have you been working now well i can just make a very simple calculation here i just start with when you end the day minus when the day starts that will give you eight hours but then i also add i take within parentheses to make it makes it to make it clear uh, sorry minus uh, the time you spend for lunch like that minus that one okay now you see that you have worked seven hours and 30 minutes one problem now, if you would like to calculate something with this, that is that it is in the date-time decimal code system. 
I can show you what actually what number is behind this if I just um, use the format painter from the cell under my results like that you will see that seven hours and 30 minutes is the decimal number 0 0.3125 that is formatted as time 730 so that means that if you for instance do some kind of calculations say that you will pay a salary they say that the salary is 100 per hour so if you multiply the result with 100 of course you don't get uh, uh, the right results um, I regret what I've done that if you would like to transform these results to a decimal number actually the simplest way of doing it is by multiplying the result with 24 because as I said uh, one hour is 1 24th of a day um, and that will actually work we can see it like this if I take the results there and multiply that with 24 what results do I get 12 hours mm, is that wrong no it's not wrong it because when you multiply a time format cell the result will be a, a, formatted as a time but what happens if I change the number format here to, to just a standard number format. I right click and choose format cells like this and then I choose just a general. What will be the results then? Well it's seven and a half and now this will work. Say that you get 100 per hour then you will can you not then you can multiply this with 100 and you will get 750. So that was a basic and very simple introduction to how you calculate time in Excel. The spreadsheet uh, uh, I have shown you here is available from excelblogger.com. Uh, thank you very much for watching.